Right, welcome guys to the Slowpoke. Well, um, now if you don't know me personally, um, I was playing Malamar for the longest of time. At this time last year, I was playing, I just played Malamar for like 12 months straight, every event I went to. Whether it was like Giratina the tags, whether it was like Mali spread, whatever, didn't really matter. Um, and with that being said, every time I played Mali, I always played at least one Ultra of Cosmo and one Matter Energy. Just because um, I just called him Mr. Reliable, really. You never know when it, his attack will come up. It's super consistent when you're playing Malamar. Um, and Sky Scorching Light is actually pretty good, too, as well, in its own time. Uh, thing. He's about to rotate, so I'm a bit sad. So let's give him one last hurrah, baby. We love you, Ultra. Hey guys, just before we get into the video, if you're part of the 60% of people that watch these videos and aren't subscribed, come on now, put a new TCG video out every day, okay? So do us a favour and hit that subscribe button. So yeah, let's have a look at Ultra Cosmo then, shall we? Basic Pokemon, 190 HP, with two attacks. We've got Photon, guys, at 20 plus 80 for each basic Psychic you discard from this Pokemon, okay? So... Uh, decent scale to be fair, it's one of the highest scales we've seen for moving energy. So if you discard two, you do an 80, 160, uh, 180, 180 for three. So, back in the day, that was a really good number, you know. That would, you choice ban that, you one shot Zoros and all that. And if you put the extra one on, you just detonate everything. Um, as it stands now though, even with the extra psychic, you're not one shotting everything. So that's why Ultra Cosmos has sort of fallen out of um, favour as it were. But I'm a resilient man. I want to play my favourite card. So I'll find a way to do it. Let's have a look. We're going to play with ADP, baby. That's right. <laughs> so, we want to know what ADP does, right? ADP is going to help Ultra Cosmo in a couple ways. Uh, number one, we got the Ultra Creation, which is cool. Uh, it's going to give us the extra 30 that we need. So that means we're going to hit 210 a lot easier. Uh, which back in the day would have been insane, like against Zoroark. But, um, which is cool. Um, it, it means uh, Ultra Cosmo is a two prizer, so we have to force two KOs after they've uh, knocked out our ADP, which is also cool. Ultimate Ray uh, really accelerates an Ultra Cosmo. Ultimate Ray basically reads this Ultra Cosmo I've just had energies to will kill whatever you throw up at me. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's why I play ADP. The only other Pokemon we play in this list is one of the Alolan Meowth, just because again our turn one as an ADP deck isn't going to be very great. Um, this lets us you know, potentially carry Jirachis and stuff um, whilst um, keeping our ADP out of the firing line so it's not taking any damage coming into their turn two if they went first. So yeah, that's all the Pokemon we play. So that on its own though, right, as a shell, probably ain't the greatest. If we don't get Ultimate Ray off, we're not winning at all. Um, so how do we get around that? Let's have a look. So we are playing greens. You know me, a little bit of greens, a little bit of ADP. Anytime I can put them together, I will. You all know because you know those purple have abilities so we can easily play greens again greens itself doesn't fix the problem how do we fix a problem if we can't ultimate right with four beast rings baby very good so here's the game plan if we don't get ultimate ray off right let's see we get gx off and our adp dies which is you know quite a normal situation we can just greens out two beast rings and just detonate whatever's in our face it's that simple <laughs> And that's what we do, baby. You know, we play four, so it's not too uncommon to like B string to a back one, greens for two more B string, attach for another one, and just say, right, this is an unwinnable situation for you now. You KO this Ultra you know, but this one's got loads of energy, you know what I mean? So that's why we play the B strings. Outside of that, we're just playing the normal um, ADP shell, greens ADP shell. So we've got four custom catches, just so I'm not hitting into bloody Jirachi's all game. I can actually dissect the board how I want, hit what I want, when I want, baby. You know that's how I like to do. <laughs> got one energy spinner just because um could we play greens we want to be able to just turn our green into energy if we need to energy spinner lets us do that yeah we've got one energy switch it's just really nice to like get basic psychic if it's attached to adp uh, we can just get that off onto an ultra so it's like an extra plus 80 can come up can come up can come up for sure four perky so we can find our green as much as possible we play three quick balls mainly so we can find a lowly meow to be honest but also find our ultras uh, one reset stamp. I wouldn't mind the stamp in here to be honest, but I wouldn't mind that at all. But uh, space is a thing. Obviously, greens, you can find that restamp whenever you want it, so you can always get use of it. Three switches so we can maneuver around our board and you know, try and make our Lolan Meowth a lot easier to use. Stuff like this. Uh, two tackle. 
We as far as our tag team supporters whilst finding our ADPs as well. Uh, one wait and see hammer because we are green steps. So we gotta play wait and see hammer. Like you know, that's just that's, that's crazy. We gotta play it so good. Uh, Kishina, wait, does if you go in second, it's your first turn. You can discard one energy from your opponent's Pokemon. So he just greens it out. So let's say we play against something like a Pikachu. If they just attach to the bench Pikachu, we can greens out wait and see hammer and courage are actually potentially turn uh, one going second, which is a lot of pressure. So. Two Fridge and Forest games, we need to find energy quite um, consistently um, and Greens lets us find this as well, so let's find energy throughout the game. Let's us bring those Photon Geysers a lot more powerful, we can just attach a Psychic from hand as well. All metal as well. Even though we're playing Custom Catcher, you still want to play at least one Boss Sword. Just because it's easier to use a Boss Sword than it is to find two Custom Catchers sometimes. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a good card, like you'd be mad not to play it. One Cynthia Caitlin, this is going to let us get back supporters that we need like Greens or Bosses or maybe Malolana. Whilst drawing three cards as well, so our tag calls can actually let us see cards, which is always fun. Four greens gonna put out already. One Guzma Mahalo is gonna let us find our tools, our roars, and our stadiums. You could argue since we are playing Guzma Mahalo, you could like, play like, one power plant or one was cut as well if you want to add a bit more uh, disruption to the stadium count. Don't mind that. Two Malolana. Uh, the reason we play these is because even though we're not super reliant on the um, armor array, if we get one off, it just takes the pressure off so much more. So um, we want to try and keep that ADP as live as long as we can. So Malan lets us do that. And then we get to the spice. So we play three giant bombs. Just because it's going to help Ultra, it's going to help bring stuff into Ultra and Cosmo range. Um, and because I just wanted to have fun with this deck, really. It's one of those decks that I don't think it's going to be super, super competitive. So I can have a bit more leeway and play some of the fun cards. Giant bomb lets us do that. And here's another fun card for you. We play a Bee Springer. So the idea with this is, if they quickly kill uh, ADP, right? Or once they kill ADP, chances are we haven't taken any prizes, right? We, may, we might have ultimate raid, in which case that's not going to be a knockout. So we can take an extra prize if we hit into a tag team or any GX Pokemon um, with our ultra Cosmo, which is nuts. The way the maths works out, I don't think it's ever really strictly necessary, but it's still fun when we can do it. Take five prizes in a turn, yeah? Jeez. Oh my lord. So yeah. <laughs> so there's a situation. Let's say a lonely Meowth has killed a Jirachi, right? Um, turn one. Okay. They've gone into their tag team. We've gone into our ADP. We've ADP. We've uh, ultimate rate into their tag team, right? They then kill our ADP. We greens out. Uh, beast bringer, beast ring. Go into our ocean of Cosma. Detonate, and that's five prizes. So there you go. It is relevant. <laughs> I'm not just paying it for the sake of it. Uh, rounding off our energy then is two waters, seven uh, psychics. Three metals and one Aurora. Okay, um, it, there's energy count. If you want to actually play this deck, I wouldn't mind some more psychic energy. Uh, maybe one more water, so we can potentially armor a little bit easier. But yeah, that's the list. I'll shut up now. Let's get into the games. All right, so here's our game. So I've been talking for a while. So I need to hydrate and wet my palate. So he's playing Mono Fire. At this point, I was scared if it was going to be like a, a baby clowns deck without Jirachi. Well, I guess you have no, you haven't got much reason to be scared of a <laughs> baby clowns or Jirachi. Let's have a look. So, we have a Mulligan. It does reveal the bee strings, it reveals the psychic, and it reveals the wait and see hammer. So, he might know what's going on here. I'm not sure. I mean, leave it in the comments. If you saw that hand, would you know what I'm playing immediately? Maybe you would. So with this hand though, we've got double raw energy, which is kind of cool. We've got an ultra across, we've got a giant bomb, we've got a greens. That is an insanely good hand. <laughs> you don't mind that. I wouldn't mind potentially having a basic energy in hand, just so we don't have to um, discard as many as cards. Because obviously if you attach two auroras, you're at a negative two there. Or a negative four technically from your hand, um, which is a bit scary. But um, hey, I ain't going to remember that hand. If I just have an ADP energy, I, I'm fine. <laughs> My turn one. If I have a support, that's a bonus. <laughs> so he's playing Green Zar, I should say, getting distracted there. Uh, Green Zar, which is an interesting matchup. Um, we could potentially line up that Beast Springer play. Uh, at least take five fives of a tag team. Also, of course, but well prefer sitting the tag team than he does hitting to VMAX. I think it's a lot easier for him to care of a tag team than it is a VMAX. Uh, so we draw into the wait and see hammer, which is pretty clutch. Uh, we, take a, we take a tag call. Take the Maladon and a good Halo, I think. Uh, on AD, no, probably gonna take ADP thing, right? Yeah, we take Guz Hala. No? Uh, I think, yeah, I think Guz Hala is the uh, the right target. Um, so I think we always put a wait and see hammer, I think, right? I don't see a reason not to. There's your raw energy. We probably get rid of. 
I'm not sure. Second Aurora, maybe? Oh, look, look, it looks, looks like we're playing the greens. Oh, yeah, greens for spinner. Yeah, that makes sense. Obviously, we can search out loads of um, search out loads of energy then. We don't have to just call his energy to our war, which is kind of nice. <laughs> it's like I'm debating whether to play this stuff. It's a bit early for that one, mate. <laughs> so I think we always take spinner. Come on, Shay. Mate, please make the right decision. I oh, look so silly. Uh, we've prized the greens, which is worth noting. Okay, so we take the spinner. Well done, past Shay. <laughs> And then we take the greens as well. Yeah, don't mind that. Don't mind that at all, to be honest. So there's the spinner. So we don't have to go minus card economy there with the uh, raw energies, which is nice. We take one of each color, which I think looks really aesthetic, by the way, when you play more energy types. I love that. Um, and then we pass it over to our opponent, I think. We've put him in a pretty uh, precarious position in the sense that um, he never got energy, any energy in play. We know he's got a load in hand, though, from the giant half. So... He either gonna what? Uh, he can't go for the high heat blast now, which is kind of nice. He has to probably go for a flare star. And because he's led breaks on, that's a lot less scary um, if he's piling energy onto that instead of a normal Charizard tag team. Because that tops out at 180. If that doesn't even one shot an ultra in a Cosmo, right? So, um, <laughs> so we're a lot more comfortable to play around a break zone than we are a, uh, a big Zard, let's say. So. And there's the player starts. So as it stands now, his board is one energy on his Volk and three on the uh, back breaks. So, and we're fine with that. So we attach water. Giant bomb thinking about it puts him in an interesting position. If we giant bomb, that means he can't like greens for switch and uh, attach energy and go for the uh, crimson flare, whatever it's called. Because then he takes the 100 back. If he takes the 100 back, our ultra Cosmo clean destroys that boy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It does 180. Yeah. Um, so we attach that. I don't think we have any reason to play anything else. You could argue playing the greens or something, but we might need to bomb rush out um, beast rings. And I know as his board stands now, there's no way he can one shot us. So there's no point in benching ultra. It gives him gust, gust targets and stuff. So let's just say deal with this ultra um, ADP. The way his board stands also, it looks like we're going to be able to get an ultimate ray off. And any time, if you can get an ultimate ray off with this deck, because that way. When the um, ADP eventually goes down, then you can B-string the second Ultra. I, I don't think it's possible for you to lose a game in this meta if you have two Ultras set up. I really, I don't see how you do it. After a GX, I should say as well. So. Anyway, here's the greens for our opponent. Let's see what he grabs. Um, he's attached to active, so he's going to go for the high heat blast, which is nice. That means he's not seeing uh, the three cards he wants from Crimson Flare, which is perfect for us. You know, anytime you can make your opponent change what they want to do, you're normally onto a winner there. Um, which is nice for us in all fairness so. obviously if he takes 100 back of giant bomb he's in big trouble so I don't mind this play as well uh, tag cool finds you finds uh, Reshi's like and the Malolana Malolana is interesting though because if we do ultimate ray then into the uh, into a Zard Malolana pretty much erased all that damage right so bit of an insult but <laughs> but yeah they, they, they still have some damage on them so it looks like next turn we can what bench uh, attach energy for ultimate ray and ultimate ray onto the ultra. I think that's our game plan. Which means we take two prizes now. Which means all we got to do now is care one tag team and we win the game. We're in a pretty strong position in that regard. He's there probably thinking, my god, if I just carry this ult uh, ADP, my guy ain't got nothing left. And we're like, oh, here's the ultra. 170, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was just seeing if the Crimson Flare actually did knock us out of retaliation. And it does. By ten, unfortunately. If you played the clutch, uh, if you played a giant charm or a uh, choice helmet, however, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. We Aurora array the uh, Aurora. I think the reason I did that was just because I wanted to hunt to that basic psychic because that basic psychic is going to be an extra eighty damage if we need it. So here's the greens. Uh, what would green search here then? Uh, what would green search here? Greens. Giant Bomb again, yeah, no, that works fine, yeah, it's because Giant Bomb, um, it's going to be, does he want to take this 100 back? If he takes the 100 back, we just win the game, because we won't even have to attach any more energy to our uh, Ultra and Cosmo. And here's the pressure that Ultra and Cosmo can do, like, that other ADP decks just don't have, in the sense that, uh, even if that wasn't Resha, if that was like a Dragapult VMAX, our game plan is exactly the same, we can still destroy that the boy, like, if he doesn't deal with that Ultra very fast, He's dead. So, anyway, there's a stamp. Um, interesting choice there. I probably want to wanted to keep the greens, just so we can um, 
fine beach thing for me. That was an interesting choice there. I don't know why we did. We know most of us have energy as well, so I'm not sure I agree with that play. Um, which is one reason why I started doing post comms now, is so I can catch plays like that and teach myself to being a naughty boy. So when you play decks like this, you don't learn, you don't make my mistakes. <laughs> imagine, if these decks look good in my hands, imagine what they, imagine what they, they look like in yours. <laughs> okay. So let's have a look. Yep. So we take two fighters there, so all we've got to do now is carry a tag team and it's done. Um, so unless you can gust kill this Ultra Cosmo now, which I don't think he can, uh, we're in good stead. There's the uh, giant half again. He actually needs energy, which is quite funny to even attack now. Bench is another Reshizard. Um, let's have a look. So Here's the greens for our opponent. The Battle of the Greens decks. Battle of the Greens decks. His is a lot more... Um, Conventional with a mine, that's for sure. He searches out the um, searches out the whatever I just uh, reset stamp, which is nice because as it stands now, we actually need how many do we do? So we do 80, 160, we do what 210 now, so we need one more psychic for my ultra to actually one shot a um, Charizard. We found him, <laughs> but he's gonna um, KO us with the uh, giant bomb, which means we can actually just KO with the photo on guys and now. Now remember, at this moment in time, I was thinking, my lord, we can attach that psychic from hand, B string, get two more greens for B string, B string, um, and have a big fat folk on, folk on guys. Uh, the reason I didn't know <laughs> is because he'd probably scoop, and I at least want to get some damage off. So um, just a little bit of a uh, gratification and uh, celebration for which I'm gonna get some. Uh, so we uh, top deck one uh, psychic. We take three, two out of decks. So we could have greens for another one, but I don't want to get greedy with it. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, there's the photo on guys. How much is this for? Four fifty. Yikes! That's the biggest photo on guys I've ever done. But um, there, there is Ultra Necrozma baby showing you that he still got it. He can still throw down, and he will continue to be able to throw down. All the way until he gets rotated. <laughs> but uh, that's been ADP Ultra Necrozma. Thank you much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.